What is going on lads and welcome to this tips video on how to beat an aggressive player in Dream Team. So a lot of people have been asking me how to how to stop players that are really like attacking through the center, one touch passing, ping pong passing, players that play like 4-2-4 up front uh, with four strikers and basically just kind of like spam the same like kind of attacks every game, right? So a couple of things you need to do. In the first 15 minutes of a match, I'm always analyzing what type of player I'm playing against. When he has the ball and when he doesn't have the ball, right? So straight away, I'm after highlighting this guy here that he's using the teammate press quite, quite strongly in the first two or three minutes of the game, right? So I'm going to use that to my advantage. You can see here that he's perfectly set. And then you're going to see that he's going to actually turn back in. Once I turn back in, He's given me an option here that he's going to create a little bit of space for me. And I'm going to get the little bit of space here that I can zigzag in. This is the option I should have taken. And obviously, I'm not the best player in the world. Let's, I'm not Pep Guardiola. And I'm not uh, Uzmakabel on the sticks. So I am going to make a lot of changes, you know, the tactically and actually gameplay wise. But what I try to do is I try to limit the counterattacks against aggressive players. I try to be as patient as I possibly can. And then I also try to like limit what he wants to do because once you can stop your opponent from playing the way he wants to play, he kind of has to, you know, he's going to panic and go to route B, root, you know, the second option that he has. Again, here you can see two men go for the ball. I just wait and wait and wait and give the ball back in, give it into Pedri who's waiting and then it's a bullet of a shot into the bottom corner. And this all came, as I said, lads, from dragging the players out of position. I'm not really doing anything here. I'm just being patient. I'm saying, okay, well, what way are you going to defend me? Are you going to close me? What way are you going to do it? And once he decides to, to, to pull the trigger on rushing me out, I just have to have a split second to decide what I'm going to do. And then it's in the back of the net before he knows what, it's hit, what hits him. Similarly, lads, defensively, right? I know that this guy is going to play through the middle nine times out of ten because of the way he's playing and the way he's attacking. And you usually get two or three different types of Pez players, which I will do a video on that quite soon as well. But, you know, you will come up against a lot of aggressive guys that even though the AI has positioned them okay for uh, their, you know, their position on the actual pitch, you will see that it just creates a lot of gaps and a lot of space when the opponent manually takes players out. And as I said, lads, be patient, right? I'm just waiting here and I'm deciding, okay, well, what is this guy going to give me on the pitch, right? He's fairly well set up here, but now he's not tracking the runner. So I get in here with Jordi Alba and anyone else here, I think this is in the bottom corner. It's just that Jordi Alba isn't uh, the best finisher. Similarly, lads, we've got a second opponent here, right? This was a match a couple of days after this um, where we were playing and we were testing out some things. These, these games will be in episode eight of our Dream Team Chronicles, I think. Um, but again, as you can see here, this guy is just trying to get the possession back as quickly as he possibly can. He's giving me the wing play. So I've analyzed and highlighted that this guy is going to give me the wing play uh, up on this one. So he's not, you know, he's kind of defense defending uh, a little bit more aggressive and he's a little bit better at actually bum rushing me. You can see here, this is a high risk, high reward. I'm in there if I just slip it through and I do press the pass button, but obviously with V1.1.2, there is a lot of issues with input delay and stuff. So you have to contend for that if you are going to continue to play the game. Again, here, lads, I'm attacking on the wings and wings again. He seems to be fairly solid through the center, but this is what really shows his hand here. When he's attacking, right? I know that the ball is going to go through. So I'm just waiting here with with, uh, with Busquets. And I know that this ball is going to, go, going to come through between the little gap there of my triangle of defense. When it does come through, it's a terrible pass through from, the, from him. And then I just mop it up. Now, again, once I try central again, I do get a chance here. But this is kind of a half chance. Maybe I should have put a bit more power in it. But I started to get a lot of joy down the wing, right? So once you are in a position where he's going to run out and he's going to chase into that space, I've decided to myself, right, well, I'm going to get this space here. It's going to be very easy for me to actually, you know, turn back in here and score and just be patient and wait for him to make a mistake. And he's bum rushing out the whole time. And I've seen that the whole game. So last game that we have highlighted here, lads, is one of those games I was talking about with a guy playing four strikers effectively. So he's playing Vinicius and Carlos is his wingers, kind of, Salah and Lewandowski up front, and then he's going to be very attacking heavy as well. Now, the minute that this game kicked off, this guy was trying to go all out, you know, he was going attacking or whatever, and I just wanted to turn over his possession, and I wanted to give him the ball to see what he was going to do. So again, he goes central, I don't get the ball, then he goes wide, so I was thinking, okay, this guy might, you know, have a different style. But again, he's straight away trying to get it into the middle of the area of the pitch. I know you're going to score, you know, most of your goals from that wing, lads, but or from the center of the pitch, but you can always build an attack. Now, this is what really kind of sums up the game for me here. 
I saw that the option of the wing was on there, that he was, he was rushing me with his right wingers. So what do I do the minute I get possession back? I'm not going to take the easy option of just going central, even though I have a little bit of space. I'm going to spread it out wide here. I'm going to touch and go with Neymar. He's already after showing his hand by giving me that the last possession that he had when he was trying to defend me. I get a clean run in for, with Neymar here. Ball comes in. I get very lucky and it comes back in. But that wing play is on all game. You can see here in the 30th minute, again, on the other side with Ronaldinho. I'm cutting inside. Messi... And it's just a lucky clearance off with the AI. Again, on the wing here, Ronaldinho, he's rushing forward. And I can see, right, the way to beat this guy is not through the center. And it's not overlaps on the center or touch and goes. It's basically just take him on man for man on the wings and then wait for him to commit. And then just kind of touch and go and go past him. And even when he gets the ball back here in a very dangerous position for me, it's three on two. And he can actually make a really good go out of this if he just be if he's just a little bit more patient. But he rushes it forward. I'm not concentrating on the ball here. I'm concentrating on where I want to be. And eventually the ball just comes into my path. I don't even have to do anything. As I said, lads, I am not a fantastic player at this game. I'm not a tactical mastermind. It's just about doing the very, very, very simple things right. And what you do is you bamboozle opponents because they're used to you fighting fire with fire you know like it could be like through the middle through the middle through the middle and when you switch it up a bit it could kind of be a bit different it could be a bit of a difference maker i don't know what happened there lads v1.1.2 is yeah a lot to answer for but uh yeah so that is it for me lads it's a very simple video there's a lot more to that we could go into a more advanced uh one as well but change up your play style if you are struggling be patient on the ball make your passes stick and let your opponent make mistakes. Let him show you the areas of the pitch that you can attack, whether it's out wide. I will do a video on the four types of Pez players as well, or eFootball players, that you will be able to analyze within the first 10 minutes of the game. And of course, if you do come up against a beast at the game, there's nothing really that you can do. They're just, you know, you're always going to get guys better than you. But you can, you know, you can limit your mistakes and you can make somebody earn their goal. You know, don't give people easy goals. Make them earn it. Make them earn their wins. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different. Let me know any feedback in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you in a bit.